Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Terrell, Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. Um, this video is not a bully rant. Uh, a lot of people have asked me, like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'll tell you what's wrong with me. Um, it's been a long battle, but uh, I have very bad anxiety at times. Um, shit's weird, you know what I mean? Anything can trigger it, you know? The phone calls being too much, uh, <laughs> just too much stress, just too much worry. Sometimes it's nothing at all and it'll happen. And, uh, you know, what, what it does to me physically, and this is two parts to this story. What it does to me physically is it really, because of being so revved up, it speeds up my heart a lot. Uh, at times it makes my blood pressure higher than what it's supposed to be, way higher than what it's supposed to be. And really it's just a lot of stress on the body. And uh, generally, like now, as you see, I got a little Band-Aid. I got pricked this morning and tested this morning. And uh, my blood pressure is actually excellent now. And uh, it's pretty, pretty good. I need to get the heart rate back to normal. But um, that's the second part of the story. <laughs> um, you know, um, a lot of y'all aren't taking this COVID thing seriously. And uh, unfortunately, I had the... Um, not so much pleasure of getting it uh and it's rough i'm gonna tell you that it's rough um amongst the things I, the, the, my main symptoms were crazy because my legs felt like they were on fire it was you know it was to the point you wake up in the middle of the night and you know another person could feel the heat coming off of my legs and i felt it like it, it was bad um, you know, I had very, very bad migraines. I've never had a headache in my life and I had them to the point where I had to lock myself in the room and be in the dark for a while. For really, it was almost two weeks I did that, you know, just because the lights was hurting my eyes. And um, after, um, you know, the, I guess the COVID was gone and I was negative, the later on effects for me were that my joints hurt badly. Um, very badly to the point that where um, normally just for instance you know like if I was doing a leg press at the gym I could leg press over a thousand pounds my knees hurt so bad that I can only put maybe 315 on there without it hurting like really really bad and um, even on the bench press normally I can bench press up to 500 pounds or more and I was having trouble with 225 pounds just from the aches. It wasn't the muscle that couldn't do it, but you did have, I do, I did have muscle aches, but the joints like really, it's like, I don't know. I never had arthritis, but it's, I could imagine that's probably like the worst type of arthritis ever. And I was walking like Frankenstein. I'm walking a lot better now and moving a lot better. I'm, I'm getting close, but uh, my respiratory isn't there. So even lifting weights and typically just to give you all an example of what I would normally do in the gym, Normally in the gym, you know, I work out at a fast pace. I don't stop. So I go from one machine to the other doing what is called giant sets, you know, four different machines. And I just go back and forth, back and forth, rarely even taking a break. And uh, then and I do that for about an hour. Usually I can get my workout done in an hour. At the end of that hour, what I'll do is I'll go, get on the elliptical. And, you know, I get on the elliptical and I go fast, fast, like almost like I'm sprinting. I'm really, really pushing the machine. So in a half hour, I generally will burn 500 uh, calories. Well, it, my respiratory is so bad that I couldn't do the workouts without stopping, get, you know, catching my breath, sometimes getting lightheaded, sometimes really having to sit down. And um, it took, I say three to four weeks before, now I can do the cardio that I sort of do the cardio. What I can do now is like 10 minutes of what I used to do. And I still, and it's not the pace. So it's picking back up. The, uh, don't get me wrong. I feel a ton better, but it, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a beast, you know? And I say that in saying that, you know, the way I train, not bragging, but I train probably like a world-class athlete would train. You know, I train up to two hours a day, you know, most times six, uh, six days a week, sometimes seven days a week. You know, I eat super clean. I do all the stuff that uh, they say you should do. I drink vinegar. I <laughs> eat my leafy greens, uh, a whole damn stockpile of vitamins. I drink, you know, two gallons of water a day. So I'm in shape. And uh, when I tell you all that that thing sort of kicked my ass, it kicked my ass. So I, having uh, now several cousins that passed from it, having a friend that's 38 
and in the hospital for the last three weeks on a respiratory machine. Uh, you know, no matter what your thoughts are, you know, some of y'all have conspiracy theories on COVID as if it's fake or whatever. It's not fake. People are dying from it, uh, having to experience the little monster myself. I couldn't imagine being in a situation where I had breathing issues or I was overweight or had any, you know, uh, crazier issues than I already had coming into the thing. And, um, you know, at times I felt like I wasn't going, <laughs> like I was in pretty bad shape, like seriously wanting to go back to the hospital, you know, because it, it, it shit hurts. And uh, I guess it, it hits everybody differently. But the one thing I'll tell you, I'll take it seriously, man. I know a lot of people are worried about the economy and they're worried about everything else. But if we keep on taking this thing not so serious, we're going to keep on seeing the numbers go up. We're going to keep on seeing shutdowns happen. And yes, the economy will tank and we'll end up with a couple million people dead instead of the 350 that we have right now. The situation can grow out of control fast. And it, I, mean, I guess it is. And um, probably one of the biggest reasons is because we don't respect anything in the United States. We're, we're, the, we're Americans. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> and we have to really start, you know, doing the little things that these doctors tell us to uh, stop, you know, uh, to stop from contracting this and stop from spreading it. You know, older people are at a higher risk, man. You know, y'all got grandmas, y'all got aunts, y'all got, you know, uh, fathers. And, you know, we all got older people in our lives that, you know, it's our responsibility as the younger people to protect them from, you know, having to face this. Because like I told y'all, I'm not the youngest man, but I'm pretty young and I'm in good shape. And I'm still, literally, it's two months now, and I'm still um, high heart rate. My heart rate uh, was 112 beats, you know, uh, this morning per minute. Which, it, you know, before that I used to be closer in the range of uh, anywhere from 55 to 60, you know, so... That's a, that's a big jump, but a good thing is everything else went to normal. So doctor says that should go back to normal. But, you know, I could imagine if I was uh, 25 years older, you know, in my in my 60s and it could be rough. So I just made this video to tell you, all yeah, it's real. And uh, hopefully you all respect it, man. You know, it's the reason that we didn't have dog shows last year. I, you know, I don't care what anybody says. It's not worth risking people's health to have a dog show. Maybe we'll have Internet shows. I'm hoping we can get started back, you know, in this spring. But it will be health before everything. And I hope that y'all doing the same thing and y'all taking care of yourselves. Because I would really hate to keep hearing these stories about young people dying. Uh, a friend of mine that's in the dog world, he actually uh, messaged me and I hadn't talked to him in a while, you know, and uh, it's pretty rough, you know, it's pretty rough to hear, you know, a man that's usually very, very um, happy, you know, to tell you that his, you know, 20 something year old son is dead now because of this stuff, you know, kid went into the hospital perfectly healthy, <sighs> you know, I mean, y'all could imagine that. And that's why that's the only reason why I'm making this video is because, you know, I'm not here to preach to y'all about like I'm a doctor or anything of that nature. But I know what's going on. And I, I see people who consistently keep on taking these things um, not serious, man. And, you know, when my man hit me, man, and was talking about, you know, his boy went to the hospital and they thinking maybe it's just going to be like the flu and this, that and the other. And his baby didn't come out the hospital, you know. I don't know if y'all ever been in that situation. I hope y'all don't ever be in that situation, you know. And I did ask him for permission, and he said, go ahead and do the video, man. You know, he said they need to know, like, to stop playing. But, you know, a kid was, if I'm not mistaken, 23 years old, you know, healthy young man, you know, bouncing around doing his thing, you know, goes into the hospital and dead within a few days. It's rough, man. It don't, ha it don't affect everybody the same way, you know. So uh, I rarely make these more serious type of uh, posts, but y'all, you know, y'all take it serious and protect yourself, man, for real, you know, because uh, ain't no need, you know, it's <laughs> just no need to play with your health, man. God bless all y'all. The new year is here. You know, hopefully 2021 is the, the complete opposite of 2020 and we have a better year, but um, that starts with us doing the right things. Until next time, man, God bless all y'all. Much love. Peace.